So today I have ChemDoodle 3 Beta with me, and I'm going to use it to briefly show off how to use uh, the reaction building system to build simple reactions. And I will be building the Sonogashira coupling reaction, which is displayed on the Wikipedia page. And so the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, draw the molecules that are present. I'm going to be drawing uh, this alkyne over here, this halide, and the product uh, alkyne. Now that the reactions are drawn, or the, the reactants and the products are drawn, I can add the arrow. We have a new arrow toolbar down here, which allows us to quickly set up our arrows. And just to demonstrate, I want to do uh, very quickly an equilibrium arrow. So I'm going to choose the double line connector. I'm going to choose a half arrow top for the right arrow and a half arrow bottom for the left arrow. And then I'm just going to select the type of uh, arc angle I want. And I just want a straight arrow, so I can just place that and very quickly that arrow is placed right onto the page. So I'm going to try to reproduce the Wikipedia uh, image as closely as possible and so I'm going to go back just to a single arrow and again place it. Now I'm going to build the reaction together. We do have a function in the reaction menu called build implied reaction that will take the reactants and products and set it to the reaction based on how they're oriented around the arrow. But just in case you want a little bit more preciseness or you want to do more complex reaction schemes, you can manually edit the reaction. So I'm just going to select the arrow. I'm going to go to reaction, edit reaction, and the edit reaction uh, interface will pop up. Down here in the bottom tray, we have all the molecules that we have present on the drawing panel. And here in the left tray is where we're going to place the reactants, and in the right tray we'll place the products. So you just drag and drop to slide them over there. And it's very simple. Uh, they're placed. You can also switch between products and reactants and back and forth. And of course, if you want to remove it from the reaction, you just place it back into the bottom tray. So I also want to add the rest of the descriptors for the reaction here. And so at the top, I'm going to put in the palladium, the copper, and the base. You'll notice that they've already popped up down here. And on the bottom, I'm going to show off this, um, this hydrogen halide that will be uh, being removed from the system. So I want the top one to be centered, and I'm going to take the bottom one, I'm going to have that right aligned, and I'm going to click OK, and done. And the reaction has been set up. You'll notice that a plus has now appeared over here. This plus signifies that these two are the reactants, and it's just automatically drawing that for us. It doesn't look so nice yet because the uh, the system is still laid out as I had originally drawn it. So I'm just going to select it again and I'm going to clean it. And so this time I can actually go into reaction and click on clean and it will lay out the reaction for me just as I would expect it to be cleaned. And of course everything is editable and all the specifications can be changed. So if you go into preferences and individuals you can go into reactions and you can change how double line spacing is laid out in equilibrium arrows, if we are going to automatically place pluses, uh, some, th some things such as how long do you want these arrows when you clean them, and also about the arrowheads. And of course, uh, more specifications will be coming as time goes on. And so there you have it, the new reaction building system in ChemDoodle 3 that everybody will have access to in the beta testing very soon. Thank you for your time.